soap, you forgot to turn the ketchup bottle upside down, and now there's a bunch of gross liquid at the top. Well, that is unfortunate. Hey guys, welcome back to Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to add a texture on both sides of a plane in Blender. Now, this is something that is actually super useful, and I, I want to get started. So let's go ahead and um, just drag a box over top of both our cube and our lamp, hit delete. And then I'm going to go ahead and just hit Shift A and we're going to search for a plane. Pop that bad boy in there. Hit R, X on my keyboard and 9, 0 on my numpad. A left click to confirm that. And then um, we're going to go ahead and just hit S, Z to scale this up just a little bit. We'll, we'll fix it up in a little bit. But um, for now, that's, that's fine. So let's go ahead and split my window into two by putting my cursor top left and just clicking and dragging like that. There you go. Um, and we'll just go ahead and change this little bit right here to the shader editor. There we go. Drag that away, um, and then hit uh, this little uh, this little drop down. Select the material right there, and then we can go ahead and get started. Now I'm gonna grab this principal BSDF, move it up a little bit. Hit Shift A, and we'll search for an image texture. There you go. Pop that bad boy right there, and we're gonna plug the color into the base color of the principal BSDF. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit this little new sorry new button. This is a little open button to open our image. And once we find the image that we want to go ahead and use, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that and hit open. So I'm, I'm gonna use the uh, this Pokemon card, the front and the back here. Um, hit open, and then now we have that good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this material output back a little bit. Drag a box over both of these, the principal BSDF and the image texture node. Hit Shift D. Shift D, duplicate that and just move it straight on down. Boom, right there. Oh my God, what a huge explosion from those two amazing nodes. Just gonna go ahead and put that right there. Um, hit Shift A and we're gonna search for one more node. Actually, two more nodes. I just lied to you. I apologize. Um, we're, hit, we're gonna search Mix and we're gonna add a Mix shader. Pop that bad boy right there in between the principal BSDF and the material output. And we'll go ahead and plug the second principal BSDF into that bad boy. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're basically done. Now, the only thing we need to do is if I go ahead and turn this to material viewport shading, you're, gonna, you're not going to see anything because it uh, we, we don't have two textures on this yet. So we need to go ahead and uh, hit this little two button right here on the on the, the Pokemon, uh, you know, image texture. Boom. And then we'll go ahead and open up the second image using this little folder icon. And we can just select it like that and then open image. Boom. Now you can see it's basically overlaid um, both of these on top of each other, which is not what we want. We want the front to be the front and the back to be the back. So the way you fix that is we go ahead and turn the factor all the way up to one and you're like, wait, it's all the same thing now. Well, don't worry, you sneaky little snake. We're going to go ahead and hit shift A and search for a geometry node. And now this is the last node, I promise. I don't be lying. We're going to go ahead and grab that and put that right there. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the back facing bit, the little back facing bit right there and plug that into the factor. And now you can see magically the front of the card is the front of the card and the back of the card is the back of the card. What a great discovery by us right here live on air. I'm not live and there's no air. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and change this, this shader editor to the UV editor. Boom. And I want to go ahead and just uh, fix up the, uh, the, the, the UVs for a little bit here. Because it looks kind of cooked. It has this little black outline with the little edge there and the white on the back here. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now you could go ahead and round the corners of the, the card here. We won't do that for today's video because this isn't about like making a card and all that whatnot, you know, stuff, stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and just hit tab to go to edit mode. And then we'll look at the back since the back is up here first. And double tap A over here, make sure everything's selected. And then we'll hit S just to shrink this down a little bit so everything is within the range of the card there. And the same thing for the front, but this time we'll go ahead and go up here to the top and then grab this little bit right here, boom, and then we'll go ahead and do the same exact thing. So for this, because it's um, not exactly right, we'll hit GY, GY to move that up like that. And then we'll grab these bottom two, just the bottom two, hit GY once again, and then move those down a little bit like that. There we go. So. Um, just a super, super simple job for today, but that is how you go ahead and make a card have two or anything, have two different sides, any texture you need to have two different sides, but it's a plane and there's only one face. So two textures, one face, one plane, very, very cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.